Hi, my name is Doug Hunsaker, and I want to welcome you to this course on the fundamentals of aerodynamics. And I'm super happy that you're here uh, to learn about this. Um, you know, Nelson Mandela said, uh, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And so the fact that you're here, the fact that you want to learn more about aerodynamics, that just shows that you're interested in having an impact on the world somehow. And, uh, and it starts with understanding some new concept or some new phenomenon some or developing a new skill that you can apply. And so anyway, I'm just really happy that you're here and that you want to learn. Um, you're probably here because you like airplanes, you know, and that's why I'm here too, actually. I love airplanes. I love studying airplanes. I love learning about them. Uh, I enjoy flying in them, and, and uh, you know, I think most people do. But, uh, but what I really like about airplanes is the, the complexity and the challenge of designing better aircraft and better understanding the physics of, about these aircraft so that we can make uh, better aircraft for the future. So maybe you're interested in like airliners here uh, or fighter jets or uh, business jets or um, there's actually a, a lot of other applications here. Let me just jot down a few others that you might be interested in. Uh, for example, uh, drone development. So drones are kind of a hot topic right now. How about urban air mobility? Um, so I'll just call that UAM, urban air mobility. So these are the electric aircraft that are being developed right now that will... Uh, someday fly us around cities and cut down on uh, the traffic, you know, on the ground. Uh, maybe you're interested in propulsion. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, like jet engines or, um, or propellers, things like that. Uh, this all requires aerodynamics. Even, uh, even rocket propulsion uh, requires some level of aerodynamic understanding. Um, or how about rotorcraft, helicopters, here we've got rotorcraft, uh, and then um, there's also some things that don't fly that uh, require some level of understanding of aerodynamics, and uh, so for example, sailing is a big one. Um, I have uh, friends who are into sailing, and they love to study the physics of sailing, and that's also a really complex uh, challenge that, that can be really interesting. So anyway, it doesn't matter why you're here. I, I assume you're interested in one of these topics, something related to these. And uh, and again, this is my love. I love to study these things and better understand the concepts. So I want to welcome you to this, this course. This course really is uh, it's called the Fundamentals of Aerodynamics. And basically, it's a bunch of background information that will, will uh, build a foundation for you uh, upon which you can build. And there are later classes that will uh, that will dive into airfoil design. And an airfoil is, if you were to cut this wing, uh, it makes a cross-sectional shape. I'll just kind of draw it here, kind of a teardrop shape. That's called an airfoil. And so we've got an entire course just about airfoil design and analysis. i uh, got a, a course about wing design and analysis. Um, and then and we'll, we'll dive into a bunch more things like uh, aircraft dynamics. How does the aircraft move uh, based off of controls? And how do you predict how that uh, aircraft is going to move based off of controls that the uh, pilot is going to uh, put into that and and control systems, things like that. So uh, anyway, there's a lot of really cool things to study here. And again, we've got to start, though, at the fundamentals of understanding just the basics of aerodynamics. So let me just give you an overview of this course real quick. A few of the things that we're going to study. Now, first of all, it's important to note that aerodynamics is a subset so I'm going to write aerodynamics here, is actually a subset of a bigger topic called uh, fluid mechanics. And basically, fluid mechanics is just the study of fluid motion, okay? And uh, of course, we've got a lot of fluid motion uh, going over these aircraft. And so, um, so aerodynamics is a subset of that where we specifically look at uh, aero, which is uh, you know, the air uh, dynamics um, as it moves past an object. And so we've got to understand really the basics of fluid motion in order to be able to predict that because obviously we have uh, air um, moving over these objects here. And so we've got to be able to predict what happens when that fluid passes over some uh, some object. So a few of the things that we're going to be uh, going over here is, uh, first of all, governing equations governing equations. 
of fluid motion, okay? Then we're gonna whittle those down. Now the governing equations are just general equations for all fluid motions. We'll, we'll start out with those, but then we'll whittle it down to a specific class of equations uh, that uh, are simplified equations for fluid motion, and uh, that's called potential flow. So we'll, uh, that's just a, a specific subset of those. Um, we'll also talk about concepts such as a boundary layer, for example. Uh, and this is the boundary layer, helps us understand what regions of the flow uh, we can use potential flow and what regions of the flow we need to use the full governing equations. And, uh, and we'll talk about the physics of that. And we're also going to talk about coordinate systems. So how do we define which way is up uh, or which way is down or you know the the coordinates uh, moving right or left or you know just the geometry um, how we're going to move around in this system here and then uh, finally I want to point out that we're going to be uh, covering just some basic forces and moments uh, that are produced on a geometry due to this uh, fluid motion. Now, the forces you're probably familiar with, those are things like lift and drag, uh, but moments are, are something similar to forces. Uh, a moment is, uh, for example, if I had a, a teeter-totter over here, and uh, so I'll just draw a teeter-totter, and let's say that I put a force on this side and a, and a smaller force on, on the other side, well, that would create a what we call a moment or a torque. Some, sometimes we call it a torque, but uh, but in in uh, in uh, engineering we usually call it a moment. Um, so that would create a moment or kind of a torque about this pivot point here um, that would rotate that teeter totter. And so um, because there are forces, and we're going to talk, be talking about the forces that are coming off of like the wings up here, and we'll have uh, the tail forces coming off the tail. We might have some forces coming off of these jet engines. So for example, we'd have forces uh, coming out of those and. And, uh, and, and really, we have a distribution of pressure on this entire thing, which can be summed up as a total force and a total moment that um, has to add up to certain things in order for the aircraft to be in, uh, in a stable condition, for example, or a trim condition, I should say. Um, so anyway, we'll be talking about things like that. And uh, this course is, again, just the introduction to these concepts. Now, it is a little heavy on the math. And... Uh, and you know, math is just part of engineering. Uh, I try to walk through it really uh, uh, carefully so that you can go back, you can go back and rewatch the videos or slow it down or speed it up if it's going too slow for you uh, or too fast for you. So uh, anyway, take it at your at your own pace and uh, and don't get too hung up on it. You know, if there's something that you don't quite understand, it's okay to move on. And you can come back and have access to the course in the future and, and be able to come back and review anything that you missed or, or as you get into the, the future courses. If there's things that just aren't quite adding up, you can come back, obviously, and review this material and, uh, and, and refresh in case there's something that you missed or didn't quite understand. So anyway, again, really happy that you're here, and I hope you really enjoy this course.